everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I sold my items on Facebook. Now Facebook has some yard sale groups and they also have the marketplace. And I will show you how to sell your unneeded items on those. Now if you're not at the part yet of selling your items, you're gonna wanna go back and watch my videos on how to get started as a minimalist because I go through the just tips and tricks of how to get started, how to start going through your stuff in order to get to the part of what you're going to sell, obviously. So this video is specifically just for selling items on Facebook. I'm gonna show you how I take my pictures for my items, what kind of information I fill out, usually kind of what I would price my items at, all the way until when those people message me and say, hey, they wanna pick up my item. Now the only downside with using Facebook as a way to sell your items is usually it's locally and so you're going to have to meet that person in order to sell the item to them. Please be very careful when you're ever meeting anybody. I do not let anybody come to my house. They don't know where I live. I usually meet the people in an actual public area, usually like the library or Walmart parking lot or something during the middle of the day so there's always people around and it just makes it a lot better and I usually let my husband know where I'm at also saying hey I'm gonna go sell this item to this person at Walmart just in case something would happen and so I haven't had any bad things happen people always pay me they always pay me in cash um, and so I've always I just had a very good experience with selling my items on Facebook now just this past couple weeks I'll show you um, I was like going through all the items that I had and I listed them all on the same day and then I filled out like in my little planner kind of the items that I wanted to sell and then I filled out later like how much I sold them for. So I ended up already making about $80 just from random things you'll see like towel rack holders, cake stands, um, I don't know just like random, random things maybe old cookbooks things like that. And so $80 is a lot if you're just selling, you know, a couple things here and there that you didn't want in your kitchen or a couple things here and there you didn't want in your bedroom. So if you have, or if you're just starting with minimalism and you have a lot of things to sell, you're probably going to make a couple thousand dollars selling all the items in your house that you do not want if you have a big pile, especially if they're maybe more expensive items. So really think about that and think about how great it is to become a minimalist. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you my um, phone screen so you can just see kind of how I put these items on Facebook. Usually I'm using my phone. I just snap the picture, upload it, and there you go. If you've watched my videos on how to get started as a minimalist, you'll see that I put my unwanted items in bins and I do have extra space. I have bedrooms upstairs that I don't use. So I have these bins in that bedroom and I was waiting for a day that I had time to go through my items and figure out what I was going to sell. I'm not selling all of these items. Some of them I knew that maybe my family wanted. Now, if you go into the camera on your phone, you can easily just snap a picture of whatever you're wanting to sell. Then you're gonna go into your Facebook app and at the very top in the search bar, you wanna search for yard sale pages that are around your area. Now, I'm not a member of all of them, but I'm going to post in the ones I am a member of. I try and look for ones that have a lot of people. Once you get into those yard sale pages, you're going to want to click on the what are you selling button. Then you can start typing in exactly what you're selling. You want to put your price and a little bit of a description. I usually say also where I'm going to meet the person at. That way they know if they need to drive to a certain area if they don't live in the same area I do. And then you want to click on photo and you can click on the photo you took and just upload it right onto there. Then if everything looks fine and dandy, you can hit the next button and it'll actually usually put it in the marketplace for you. And then you can add it to any of the other groups. That way you don't have to post all of your items to every single group separately. So it's very helpful. You can just kind of click around and see and just click to all the yard sale groups you're a part of or any other for sale groups. And then you hit post. Now, if you haven't thought about taking pictures before, you can actually just go onto the yard sale page and click on the what are you selling button and click on photo. And you can just click on taking a photo instead of picking one from your gallery. So there I took my photo first 
because I didn't have a picture. And then I was able to just type in again, the exact same way, type it in, type in the price and the description. Now, when I actually sell the item, I go into my planner and it's just under like a big to-do list. I've been keeping track of every single item I have sold and how much money I've made from it. And so on the little sheet of paper that I have in my hand, that's just, I wrote down the people that bought multiple items and where I had to meet them at. That way I could keep everything straight. And then I put in my planner exactly how much money I made. Thank you again for watching. Bye guys. Oh, 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 oh,